Hey everybody, it's Rollin64, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, in the last video, we got here to um, Kakariko Village, and we got um, a song in the graveyard, and we got a few sculptures. Uh, actually, how many do we have? We have eight. Alright. Um, in this video, we are going to... Help this woman find her cuckoos. So just grab one and throw it in. Alright, so let's look for some more. Um, no cuckoos there. I know there's one behind that fence. Don't worry, I'll get it. Um, I know where one is. the crate. No, don't go away. No, 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 no. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. There we go. Got the cuckoo. Um... Yeah, so... How's everybody doing today? Um... Today... When I'm recording this, it's the day before I have to go back to school. I've been on spring break all week. And it's been nice. I wish I could have recorded more. But oh well. Uh, still pretty good week. Just glad I was out of school. Alright, so there's a cuckoo over here. You need to take another cuckoo to get over here. Uh, well that's just one way, but still. Um, alright, so let's go grab the other one, um, so yeah, I've had a pretty good week, um, so I record, I, may, I mostly just recorded this, and um, my other LP, that, sh that episode one should already be uploaded, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. Uh, so, so what have you guys been playing? Um, I've mostly been playing Ocarina of Time 3D and watching Impolo 18's Let's Play of this game. And it is insane the way he LP'd that. He like he like recorded it all while and s no, while his roommate Nintendo Capri Sun was away at PAX Prime. So he like recorded 27 episodes in one day. That's pretty insane, dude. But yeah, you know, whatever floats your boat. Oh my gosh. Um, so there's a cuckoo down here that you want to get. Um, whatever you do, don't go in that hole. Because if you do, it'll reset all the cuckoos. Alright, so throw another one out there. We're almost done with this little side quest. Um, so yeah. So, um, has anyone been playing Kid Icarus Uprising? That game came out yesterday at the time of this recording. Oh, hang on. So, um, it looks pretty awesome. I'm hoping to do a blind Let's Play of that soon. Um, I don't have the game because I, um, don't, oh, sorry, I bumped the mic. Uh, it's because I don't have the money for it right now. Hopefully I will soon. So that'll be another Let's Play, a blind Let's Play. Um, I believe there's just one more Kuka we need to get. So I'll have to stop socializing and talk about the game again. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
Alright, thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. So, why do you own them? Oh, well, for helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass. It should be useful. Please take good care of it. You got an empty bottle. After you put something in this bottle, yeah, yeah. So we have our second bottle. Um, there are four bottles in the game. And they're pretty easy to get. Um, do we need to do anything else? I don't think so. Um, let's see. We're at seven minutes, so... I don't want to stop the video here. Oops, oh, sorry. I keep bumping the mic. I'm just trying to scratch my chin and I bump the mic. Um, hmm. Do we want to go? I mean, it's not like I have a time limit anymore. I can make this a long video. Um, yeah, why not? So, let's go over here and talk to the guard. The road is closed beyond this point. You can't read the sign over there? Eh? Oh, I see, you're just a kid. And you can't read yet, ha ha. What a jerk! I, I I never knew he said that before. What a jerk! I am... I'm pretty sure that Link is like seven years old. Alright, so... The sign said, No passage without royal decree. Well, um... We have a letter from the princess. Will this work? Oh, this is... This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. This is Roland. He's under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> Uh, what kind of funny game is our princess come up with now? I cannot believe I just made that laugh. Okay, okay, all right. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> I mean, ha, ha, ha. Okay, um, I'm gonna try and stop being weird. Anyway, by the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It's an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They'll sell you a shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Hang on. Okay, sorry, I thought I was going to burp. Apparently I didn't. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it, just... Just because of the great tip I just gave you, I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Mash Shop that's that just opened in Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have the time to go there. So, could you go and get the mask for me next time you're in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. <sighs> All right, we'll definitely do that the next time we're in the market. Um, the proper shield he was talking about is the Hylian shield, which we got for free in the graveyard. Um, if you go to the bazaar, they'll sell it for 80 rupees, but if you talk to him and go to the bazaar, they'll sell it for 60. And actually, equipping a proper shield is not a bad idea right now. Um, especially in the next dungeon, you're going to want to do that. Alright, so this is a red Tektite. Lock on to it as it jumps with Z targeting. Pretty easy to beat. They're just a bunch of pushovers. And then drop you a few hearts if you want them. Of course, you can easily just avoid them. Alright, well, uh, there's a sign over here. Let's read it. Dodongo's Cavern. Do not enter without permission. Alright. And this is a new species. They're called the Goron. Tektite? I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. I can't see anything past the Tektite's leg. It blocks the entrance to Dodongo's Cavern which was once a very important place for us Gorons. 
But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Uh, tight! Tight! Alright. Well, that's some pretty useful information. So, yeah, how about we go up? We should be coming up on... 11 minutes, I think. Alright. Uh, avoid that rolling gore on. Can't do much about him right now. Alright, what does this sign say? La Land of the Gorons, Goron City. Goron City. Seems weird. It's it's really just one room. Oh my gosh. That like it's just one room, pretty much, but they call it a city. Whoa. Careful, dude. Alright. Um we need to like see some like like some leader or something. Big brother has shut himself in his room, saying, I will wait here for the royal family's messenger. Um that kinda sounds important. Um I guess we could be this the um, royal family's messenger. We have the <laughs> What was that, dude? We have Zelda's lullaby, why don't we use it? I think we're messenger enough. Let's go in here. Let's see. Um, hey. Uh. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now, I'm really angry. Get out of my face, now! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have caused inf... Ancient creatures have infested the Dodongo's cavern. I messed that up. Alright. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But... This is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Um... Maybe I could cheer you up with a song? Hey, I guess so. Uh... Okay, I, I, I messed up. That's how you do it. Maybe this song will cheer you up. What the? What the heck? What? What? Dude! Oh! Oh, oh! Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Hot! What a hot beat! Whoa! Yeah! Yahoo! Hey, what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy! I am Darunia. I am the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want Spiritual Stone of Fire, too? Spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not just going to give it to you that easily, if you want it so badly. Why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dongo's cavern, and prove you're a real man? 
that way, everyone will be happy. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you, but I'm not really giving this to you in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick up a bomb flower using A. And with that, we got the Goron's Bracelet. Um, yeah, it'll help us with picking up bomb flowers. Um, we've been going actually for about 15 minutes. That's weird. Um, so that'll be all for this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, in the next episode, we are going to do a few more things here in Goron City, and then, like Darunia said, head out to Dodongo's Cavern. So, I'll see you then. This is Sirone64, signing off.